Okay. This is a test. This is only a test. Hey, if you made it over here, the universe definitely sent you. So shout out to us for coming together and cheers to the journey, you guys. If you made it over here, the universe definitely sent you. So shout out to us for coming together and cheers to the journey. You guys, today's video has no agenda. It's just me wanting to check in with y'all. If you're a returning subscriber, hey y'all. It's never too late to become a new subscriber. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you dip. And let's just jump right into this video. First things first, y'all, don't forget to interact with me below. Give the videos a thumbs up, leave comments, feedback, whatever, all that good stuff. It just lets me know that you're vibing with me, that you're rocking with me, that you're supporting me. It's a way to keep me going, especially during days where I wanna give up. That just lets me know that some, I'm fine. I'm getting close to the goal of finding my like-minded people. I'm getting close to the goal of just finding people that I can relate to, finding my audience, knowing that there is support out there for people that are like me, who are a little bit more low-key, who's not necessarily on the same type of wave as everybody else, of doing something a little bit different, um, and just finding myself through starting from nothing, as I, I think I explained in my new YouTuber video yeah so just don't forget to interact with me i don't bite i promise at least not hard um but yes that just that just keeps me going side note i'm gonna keep going anyway because i know what i'm going up against i know that i am starting from scratch i know that i don't i'm coming from nothing and I'm not showing what everybody else is showing necessarily. I'm not doing what everybody else is doing necessarily. So I do know that because of that, the engagement is, is going to, it shows that basically, the lack of engagement. And that low key keeps me going as well, just because I'm stubborn and I feel like, oh, nobody is rocking with this or nobody's on this type of time no one's trying to do, you know ain't nobody on this wave i'm gonna do it anyway ain't nobody gonna shut me up ain't nobody gonna stop me so that's kind of, it, it it does it for me that way however i do want to know that i am getting somewhere and that there are people like-minded people and that i do have support and you know feedback if y'all ain't feeling it let me know you know if y'all want to see something y'all want me to talk about something just let me know that's i mean communication communicate piggybacking off of that checking in with being a new youtuber um it has been very bittersweet i think there's days where i feel great uh about it and then there are days when i just am like i mean i'm human so there are days when it does get to me i'm going up against people that are into certain things will say whereas I'm into doing my best to be realistic in myself and just showing real life day-to-day -day things I'm not necessarily into materialistic things I'm not necessarily into aesthetics and fashion and beauty and looking cute every time I make a video that's not my goal and I think it would be easier to go that route so sometimes I do have moments where I'm like maybe I should just do what everybody else is doing but that's not gonna make me feel better at the end of the day and I think that's why I keep stopping myself from going that route because that's not I, I'm gonna feel like I gave up on myself and people that are like me by feeding into what everybody else is doing and folding and I just think as I get older and think about starting a family, what type of person and mother would I be if I give up on being myself, basically, to feed into what everybody else is doing just to get fast um, results and interactions and things like that. So that's just things that I battle with and think about as I am on this YouTube journey. It has been an amazing, bittersweet experience i talk to god almost every day if i feel myself getting ready to fold i'll be like 
universe, please, like, I need you. Please make me stronger. You know, I'm proud of my, thank you for making me stronger. Thank you for, you know, allowing me to go through this journey with nothing and having the confidence that I have to pull myself out of it, you know, when I feel myself getting ready to fold. So that is something I'm battling with constantly. It is not easy to get up here on camera and not, and, and be, and try to be something different basically than what everybody else is used to seeing and going anyway when you're getting no feedback no interaction like that has to be like that's scary y'all but on the brighter side um i also wanted to check in about my birthday today is july 9th my birthday was june 29th so it was a week ago or two a week or two ago um i had a good time in florida on the beach me and my husband had a ball from the moment we first arrived to the day that the time that we left there was always something to do we just we needed that we definitely needed that we participated in a lot of things that we weren't expecting that was a beautiful experience watching the sunset it was quiet everybody kept telling me um panama city beach is just it's it's for the young crowd and it's the beach is not as pretty and it's gonna be packed and y'all that was not my experience at all i thank god the universe had my back on this trip because i did not see that at all it was one of the most beautiful beaches i have ever been to it was the most emptiest beach i have ever been to it was probably me my husband and probably like 15 other people on the beach every each time we went to the beach i thought i was at one point i'm like is this a five star uh hotel because um hold on but it's not it wasn't <laughs> but i had to check because i'm like this is nice like the restaurant was on like we never we didn't have we didn't have to leave i mean we could have left but we didn't i mean because we had a rental but we stayed on the resort the whole time the drinks were watered down though i will say that that's the one thing i did not like is those drinks were not drinking like they weren't giving what they were supposed to give but other than that, everything, it was nice. It was it was really nice. I enjoyed my time. I thought two days wasn't gonna be enough, but it was enough. It was more than enough. Towards the end, both EJ and I were ready to go home. Not because we weren't having a good time, but because I think two days is was enough. <laughs> we did everything and I was afraid. That, oh my God, we're not gonna get to do everything. But we did everything and we were in bed like old people by like 10, 11 o'clock every single day. But yeah, I realized then that I'm getting old even though i'm in my late 20s i was like you're getting old because you're tired and it's only 10 30 11 o'clock this is not okay but yeah it was very relaxing vacation doesn't necessarily have to be getting up and doing something every second of every day it could just mean laying in one spot with the balcony doors open listening to the waves of the beach until you fall asleep um but yeah it was it was very nice, you guys. I'm looking forward to our next trip. However, it can wait because like I said, by the end of it, we were ready to get home because we have goals, which is my next check-in that I wanna uh, talk about or share with y'all. We have goals and we've been working on saving. We have our next big goal. I'm not gonna tell y'all just yet, but um, saving, 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 saving. Like that is something I've been doing for the last probably like six, seven years. I've been saving like nonstop straight every month. Like there has not been one month where I have not put uh, at least minimum three to $600 to the side every month. Like that's, that's a reason, a part of the reason why we're always, for the most part inside, cause we're always saving for something to get us to the next step, to invest in ourselves, to get us to the next level. We believe in sitting down right now and sitting out of things right now so that we can be better tomorrow, figurative, figuratively speaking. We, I was ready to go home, so I'm just ready to like, I was just ready to say, all right, what's next? Our next goal, let's continue to you know, hustle, let's continue to grind, let's continue to stack our money, let's continue to save, let's go to the next step so that we can do stuff like this more often, but out of the country. So. But yeah, so that is, that was part of the reason why I was like, okay, I'm ready to go home because I'm ready, like now I'm pumped up. I'm just ready to start my life, basically. So that was part of the reason why I was like, yep, I'm ready to go. I also wanted to check in with y'all about, just do a brief, quick mental health check-in. I, today, I am doing good. Yesterday, not so much. This morning, not so much. But right now I'm doing good. I sat down and reflected, did some journaling, 
talk to God, the universe, aka the universe, I have my moments where I'm battling with just the YouTube stuff sometimes and the ability to pull myself out. And y'all, I swear I've been doing, I need to give myself some credit because man, I will beat myself up because of not, I guess I'm just not under, realizing all the time in the moments that I am feeling depressed that there has not been one week that I have not posted a video. There has not been one time where I'm editing it, editing a video that I'm not smiling and happy when I'm done. There has not been one moment. Like I'm, I need to give myself credit. Like I just need, I need to give myself credit. I'm seeing myself grow. I watch my old videos and I get like, I cringe cause I'm like, oh my God, like why did I make that? And I want to take it down, but I'm like, no, 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 no. You need to, cheers to the journey. It's, it's about the journey. Um, so yeah, I just need to give myself credit um, and not allow what I expect to happen and then it's not happening to get me down. And I mean, it hasn't for the most part. I can say that because I keep going anyway. So, and that's to me is liberating to me. I can't wait to start a family someday and tell my kids like, hey, I kept going and nobody was vibing with me. Nothing, nobody was rocking. I had nothing and I kept going anyway. So I can't, I can't wait to be that person and I'm, I'm that I'm that person today so yeah that's why I kind of pull myself out of it got myself together I mean I still got my pajama shirt on but it's all good and say you know what I'm about to let me make a video so yeah y'all but that's it I just wanted to check in with y'all relationship is me and EJ are doing great I He's growing a lot. I'm very proud of him. Very proud of EJ. I'm not gonna cry, not gonna cry. But I am very proud of EJ. He's grown so much. Y'all don't know really because we just started this channel where either of us have come from. So try not to cry. So just watching us both from where we were to where we are now, I tell EJ, at least a couple times a week that I'm proud of him. Whew, sorry y'all. We're not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry today. Not today, maybe tomorrow, but not today. And just thanking him for being here for himself, being here for me, and just being here for our future and doing everything that he needs to do to make sure that, to make sure that we're on track and that we stay on track and to see where he was last year to today is like he's a completely different person so very proud of you ej proud of me proud of us so yeah y'all thanks for rocking with me thanks for vibing with me i appreciate y'all don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you dip returning subscribers hey y'all give it a thumbs up interact with me below leave a comment do something so i know you stop by and i will see y'all in the next video thanks guys the best way to learn is by experience